This guy's on. This guy's on. Okay. This guy. This guy's on. Yeah. This guy's on. Yeah. You can also do the the same thing if you go to command level. Should we write one thirty five zero zero here? No, no. This is a. Uh, this, this is a different is, uh, angle. This is a spherical harmonic order setting angles. Okay. okay. This angle is a different uh, with that one. That one thirty five. It's uh, somewhere else. Okay, that is only for the instrument. Yes, that is only for the instrument. That one is somewhere else. Okay. But this one is a zero zero. It mm -hmm. has nothing mm -hmm. to do with this set. So. Is this the same? I'll come down a little bit. Two point zero two. Yeah. Let's see. MP Okay, from this graph, what are we getting? What are the, the information that we are getting now? This graph normally tells you what, what the refinement This is only information it, the graph tells you But uh, if uh, you are refining two phases You are refining two so phases So that means when we are refining, we are adjusting certain parameters to match the Mm -hmm. The raw plot is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that. Uh, but uh, this graph can only tell you if you have if you are having a good refinement or not. Okay. If if you are thinking this one is good, that means the lattice parameter corresponding to current level is the most close reflection for the real case. Okay. Okay. So that means you can believe the current lattice parameter is this one. Oh. Instead fine. of the starting one. Okay. So for example, you have two. You have two raw spectra. Mm -hmm. One is a zero stress. One is a 500 MPa. Mm -hmm. You get, you refine on um, both respectively. Mm -hmm. You got a good refinement. Mm -hmm. So you will know the lattice parameter corresponding to zero stress. Yeah. You will know the la new lattice parameter corresponding to higher stress. This is the, this one can only tell you. Okay, I'm getting a good refinement. So I believe the last can be, uh, yeah, okay, like So this. you can calculate the stream by using this one mm -hmm. minus the Mi first one. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, you know what I'm it. saying? Yeah. And then how do we calculate the volume fraction? If it's a two phases, if it's a two phases, this is a one phase, so one hundred percent. If it's two phases, uh, the it's, it's nita is an alloy. I mean, for my but, yeah. nickel and then nita, we get two. It's an alloy. But Since uh, it is an alloy, it's, it's only one phase, right? It's now. only one phase. One For phase. example, if we have carbides or precipitates, then it will be two phase. Yes, but uh, it depends on because this refinement also has some uh, sensitive level. For that carbide, if uh, that second uh, precipitate phase is so small, mm -hmm. so small that uh, it couldn't ref reflect on this pattern. Oh, okay. okay. If they, if 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 uh, there is no second precipitate phase here, mm -hmm. how you can tell? Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Yeah, unless I mean in this pattern you see some uh, extra peak. You so that is a limitation of a neutron diffraction then? It has some uh, sensitive level, right? If the carbide is only 1-2%, you couldn't, uh, you could even you couldn't... Uh, but see, uh, for example, in a steel, uh, in NITA, we had 1% hafnium. That makes a dramatic change for the transformation temperatures. But 1% of hafnium, hafnium can be detected here. But uh, that one percent half mm will influence the shape, will influence the strain information. Okay. Even though you couldn't see half mm precipitate. Okay. It will influence the on the system, which will be shown on the peak shape, the peak precision, oh. all by those uh, 0.5 or one yeah, percent. That's cool. Also, if you have two phases. 50% martensite, 50% uh, austenite. You can't get those face information after you do this guy. I will close this one, right? Mm -hmm. After you do this one. There is a... Ref... Ref list. Mm -hmm. If you do this guy, mm -hmm. it will tell you what is the face information. Oh, good. Like I will show you maybe maybe uh, for example let me show maybe one of them is a uh, two face uh, let me see if this one is two face. F 
phase, right? You see, phase one, mm -hmm. phase two. This is B2, this is uh, Binetin prime right inside. I have two phases here, and uh, here if you see phase one fraction, phase fraction, oh. this is phase one, this is phase two. But this one is just a number. This is not the true weight percentage. This is just uh, the, the, month, the number the system used to refine. But for those things, you can output, after you get a good refinement, you can output the, you see, as I mentioned, there is a ref list. And the, the, the output file is a list of file, mm -hmm. LST. Oh, okay. In this one, you have a, you have that face fraction information. Okay, okay. You, you can see those things here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got you. You see, weight percent, weight, weight fraction. From, this is a point six nine. The other is, um, the other is a point three zero. You see, this is for, this is phase number one, you see. Okay. This is for phase number two. So after you get a good refinement, you okay, can get okay. such an Let's go. Yeah. So let's go back. So let's copy paste. Still another important thing we can do. We already refined so much, right? Yeah. So normally, as I mentioned, if you go want to go f next level, you need to turn this guy off, right? But right now, because we are so close, the the most of the best one is uh, if that output can give you one mm -hmm. as the the chi square value mm -hmm. that is the best okay. one means the experimental and uh, the, the defeating problem. are catching exactly, exactly. Okay. right now we are at two right so we are pretty small so maybe I'm comfortable to turn on this another important thing is under a histogram mm -hmm. here is a refinement uh, this ABS and okay. uh, this guy this guy is nothing but this one absorption and corrections because different the material has different uh, absorption and affected okay. yeah properties okay. so let's turn on this guy okay but uh, sometimes if you turn on this guy without turning off this one this one it will crash but uh, let's uh, let's try if crash we will come back but normally after a good refinement a good refinement uh, in the sense I will turn on this guy like this parameter, I will keep this guy on. I will keep the uh, peak shape on. I will keep the string information on. I will keep the texture information on. Okay. That is the final goal for refinement. I will keep every parameters on and uh, let them to refine all together. Okay. So let always turn this guy the last the last moment. So let's see if it can get a little better. I want this guy. Do this guy again. Okay. One point three eight. That's. Uh, that's okay. good. Okay. You see? Yeah. That is the goal. <laughs> cool. Very nice. So this is the. Uh, I will show you up to here right now, and I can give you some patterns. I can give you the same. Yeah, I'll do it. Right. My, uh, yeah. You you can do it on your own. Yeah. I, I would recommend you familiar with your because I always always start from here. Yeah. But uh, after you are familiar with this guy, you will know what you are doing. Exactly. And then. As I mentioned, you can do this guy to exactly. a little later to, yeah, to sure. catch up. I'll get the MSCA and then start doing working on that. Yeah. Do you have a drop drop so I can? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Maybe I, let me copy this guy. Let me copy the result for your reference. Right. Just copy.